Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome to the Neuronium Direct for 2025. This year we have a different slew of games that I plan on doing for the channel. Most of them, if not all of them, are going to be related to series that we've already done on the channel. Which, you might be wondering, well, what series are they? Well, that's what this video is for. Now, I should preface, I might not get to all these games in this year. At the same time, I may have to move some games around or remove them. But this is mostly the definitive list of games that I definitely want to do for 2025. And at the same time, this is also the games that are not going to be done until the current projects are finished, or at least one of the current projects is finished. Finally, this list is not the limitation to everything I will do in 2025. There may be a game that comes out that I really want to do, and I'll add it into the schedule, like last year I did for Shadow Generations. So, without further ado, let's get started. Time for a tropical adventure on Isle Delfino. Welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Uncover the mystery of the Thousand Year Door. Ahem, today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Off an awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it is said that this town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the Many moons rose and set. Stories of town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Roadport. Yes, this is where it begins, the sea from Roadport, the tale of the 
quest for the legendary treasure. And a thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Turdsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But, now that I'm doing it, all I see in this town is a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special. Well, that's a pretty box. What is that? What's inside there? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it, and it will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge in one such as me to. Oh. If the box would are open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Call. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came in possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But, since it would be too difficult for me to try and find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Handhelds need some love too every once in a while, right? We are Astrobot.
invasion continues in this next game in the series. Premier Comrade Mielakov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. The primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, now deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Connor, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mines. Think. A conduit's life is never an easy one. Dreams really do come true in this next game for the channel. Ten years later, but we're finally doing it. Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, 
and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? So we have quite a few games that we're going to be doing this year. Some long ones, some short ones, some that I have to do just because of an obligation to myself. But remember, not all these games will be done in the order that they appeared in this video, and I may add some more games or move some around in the future. But anyway everyone, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. Hope to see you for 2025 with the many projects we have planned for this channel. And until then, I'll see you all next time.